to the third topic for this session. Now we have seen in Modigliani and Miller approach, investors behave rationally. This is a perfectly capital market, which companies are same in all the aspects as except the capital structure. Similarly, we also saw in Modigliani and Miller, you can't ignore taxes. Keeping the concepts of Modigliani and Miller, let us see how does an investor resort to arbitrage when they are two companies, and how does he gains out of it. The following data. Let us do a small illustration and see how does arbitrage happens. The following data regarding two companies X and Y belong to the same equivalent class is given to you. We have company X and company Y. You can see company X number of ordinary shares are seventy five thousand. Company Y has one lakh twenty five thousand. The five percent debentures for company X is forty thousand. Y is zero. Similarly, market price per share is one point two five for company X. It's only one rupee for company Y. Profit before interest is twenty five thousand for company X and twenty five thousand for company Y. So prof EBIT is the same. All profits are paying debentures. After paying debentures, interest are distributed as dividends. So there are no retained earnings. Assumptions remain the same of capital structure on a debenture and equity. There are no retained earnings, no preference shares. You require to explain under a Modigliani and Miller approach. Investor holding ten percent of the shares in company X will better off in switching off his took. Investment to company Y. Now, if you keep this company X and company Y, what is highlighted? You can see company has both X has both equity and debentures in its capital structure. Company Y does not have debentures in its capital structure. Right? Both the companies are same in all the aspects. Think, for example, you are investor, you hold ten percent shares in company X. Both the companies are same in all the aspects. Now, you as a shareholder are the owner in this company. Now, debentures increases your risk. Debentures increases your leverage. Why will you want to take a risk? You thought that if both the companies are same in all the aspects, why don't I take out my money from company X and put in company Y? Right? Company Y does not have any debenture, so risk is less in company Y. So I can say company Y is an unleveraged firm. Company X is a leveraged firm. Now, how will you switch your money from company X to company Y and get your profit? Let us see now. How will you do that? Now, if you see, there's a leverage, financial leverage in company X. Leverage means risk. There's a risk because debenture holders needs to be paid. At the end, who bears the cost? Shareholders bear the cost. You thought that if I'm switching from company X to company Y, and if I borrow the money from the market and I put some extra money in company Y also, then also I earn a profit. How does an investor does it? Now, if you see when is going to company Y, little bit risk you can take on your own because company Y does not have risk. So you take out your money from company X ten Y ten percent and put in company Y. Second thing, if you take the similar loan from and take a personal leverage, if you do resort to personal leverage because there is no financial leverage, even if you resort to personal leverage, you will see still make a profit. How does an investor does it? Let us see how does it happen. So he switches off his holdings from company X to company Y. Now, let us see how much shareholding does he have in company X. Now he has is ten percent shareholding in the shares. How many are the number of shares? Seventy five thousand are the number of shares. One share is one point two five. So seventy five thousand into one point two five gives the total value of shares. He has ten percent shareholding. So if you do ten percent, how much you get? Nine thousand three seventy five is his investment in company X. So what he can do? He can take out nine thousand three seventy five from company X and put in company Y. Company Y does not have any risk also. So what he can do, he can take a personal risk from the market. If he borrow the money, what he has risk is there in Company X. Same according to it, if he borrows from the market, how much does he invest in Company Y? Now, if we if you see this, how how much debentures are there in Company X? Forty thousand. To tune of same, he does not change the risk. Investor does not want to change the risk. So forty thousand was a risk in the A Company X. So to tune of forty thousand, if we take a loan from the market. How much will he take? Ten percent, because ten percent is a shareholding. So forty thousand into ten percent is how much? Four thousand. He does not change his risk profile. He takes a personal risk to substitute the financial risk. So if he borrows four thousand from the four thousand from the market, nine thousand three seventy five was his equity shareholding. How much does he invest in company? Thirteen thousand three seventy five. Right now, let us see how will this investor makes a profit if he switch from company X to company Y. Now, will he make up? How? Let us see how much will his profits be differentiated. Let us go to company X first. Let us see how much is he earning today. Now, EBIT of the company is twenty five thousand, right? Let us see how much profits are distributed. EBIT minus interest is PBT. Does company X pays interest? Yes, they pay interest to the debenture holders. How much will they pay? Five percent debentures of forty thousand. 
So 40,000 into 5 percent is how much? 2,000, right? So interest is 2,000. How much is profit before tax? 25,000 minus 2,000 which gives you 23,000. Concept remain the same. No taxes, no preference dividends. So how much are the earnings to shareholder? 23,000. How much shareholding belongs to X? 10 percent. It means out of 23,000, how much is his share of profit? Only 2,300. Now, if, if, if this investor does not take out his money, today how much profit is he getting by investing in company X? 2,300. Right? Well, let us see what happens if he switch off his money to company Y. Now, company Y also gets the same profit. EBIT, remember the assumption remained the same, EBIT will remain the same. EBIT is 25,000. If you see company Y does not have any debentures in its capital study, it was an unleveraged firm. So interest is zero. PBT will be 25,000, there are no taxes. So PET will be 25,000, there is no preference dividend. Earnings to shareholders will be 25,000. Let us see how much has his share of profit. How much shares is he bought in company Y? 13,375. Just now we saw how we computed. 9,375 which you took out from company A and 4,000 which you took for loan from the market in the form of personal leverage. So, 13,375. Total shares, how much total shares in company by 1,25,000. So, how much is his share in company by 13,375 divided by 1,25,000. Right. Now, how much is the share in profit? 25,000 into 13,375 divided by 1,25,000. How much is his share in profit now? 2,675 when you compute. Now, okay, if you see his profits have increased. In company X, he was getting 2,300. In company Y, is getting 2,675. Fine, if you tell me also he took a loan, personal loan. How much interest is he paying on the loan? How much loan did he took for 4,000? Assume the same interest he needs to pay as on debenture because the same risk he has taken. 4,005% is how much? 200. See, even if he pay the interest on the loan borrowed, how much in profit does he make in company Y? 2,475. And how much profit he was getting in company X? 2,300. See, 2,300 becomes 2,475. Even when he takes a loan from the market, he takes a personal risk and he invests in company well. This is what Modigliani and Miller stressed upon. At a certain point of time, in a perfectly capital market, and the company is the same in all the aspects except the capital structure, for investor, it does not matter. For investor, it does not matter he's putting his money in company A or company B. He want to maximize his return. A certain point of time, he'll resort to arbitrage. And that is what Modigliani and Miller stressed upon.